This is Rufus Deutscher, Worldwide Design Evangelist at Adobe Systems. In the next few minutes, I will be showing you how you can save yourself a lot of time by using Adobe Creative Suite 4. In this clip, I'll tell you about the brand new Links panel in Adobe InDesign CS4. Creating documents in InDesign is all about linking to graphics and images in order to create captivating layouts, right? And these links can be very, very many. And as their number grows, it becomes more and more time-consuming to manage those links. That is why we completely redesigned the Links panel to enable you to see all the information you need, therefore dramatically reducing the time necessary for you to find the information in multiple locations within the application itself like it used to be in InDesign CS2 or CS3, for example. The redesigned Links panel provides comprehensive and consolidated access to link attributes and metadata, including scale, original and effective resolution, layer assignment, copyright information, workflow status, and much, much more. But to give you a quick overview of what's new inside of the Links panel, I'll show you three features that are really, really interesting. For example, if we have a file that is being used more than once inside of the document, they are grouped together. So instead of cluttering your links panel with uh, repeated links, we group them together to make it easier for you to access them. Also, you get a thumbnail now with a little preview that automatically appears in front of each link, making it much, much easier for you to identify the linked asset. And third, and which is really, really cool and very fast to work with, is this little hyperlink so that you can quickly jump to the page that actually contains the placed file. The information you see in the links panel is completely customizable to let you view only the information that is critical to your workflow. For example, the scaling percentage of images or the actual or effective PPI of raster images and much, much more. To do that, you simply go to the menu Go to the panel options and you see we have two columns here. One column is for the upper part of the links panel. The second part, the second column is for the lower part, for the link info part of the links panel. And here we can decide exactly what to see inside of the panel. So for example, I could go here and say that I want to be informed about actual PPI and effective PPI of images, or that I may want to know the folder structure in which that file is contained. So I can turn those on inside of the panel options and say OK. And now, as I make the panel wider, like so, I get all the information inside of the link panel itself. Working with the new links panel in Adobe InDesign CS4 will tremendously speed up your workflow and help you manage your linked assets in ways that were impossible in earlier versions of InDesign. And if time is money, as they say, this has never been more important than in InDesign workflow, where every minute of production has a fixed cost. This is Rufus Deutscher, Worldwide Design Evangelist at Adobe Systems. See you soon and make good use of your time with Adobe Creative Suite 4.